Next up, we have a new loop called the for of loop. So it's new to us in this course, but it's also new to JavaScript. It's only been around a couple of years, and unfortunately, it is not supported in Internet Explorer. If we go to MDN, scroll down to the bottom, there's a whole line of red right there for Internet Explorer. So again, it's not a reason to ignore it or to stop using for of. It's just something to be aware of. It's not going to work automatically in every single browser, but Chrome, Firefox, Safari, they all support it. So for of is a really simple syntax, and it addresses a common use case for a loop where we want to iterate over an iterable. And iterable could be something like an array or a string. There are other items that are iterables in JavaScript. That's something we'll talk about later as well. I hate saying that, but it's true. For now, we'll work with arrays and strings. So the syntax is super clean. Instead of creating a for loop, a regular for loop, where we generate a variable, let's say i set to zero, we add one to i each time, we keep going while i is less than the array.length. Instead of that, we simply write for and then some variable of iterable. So of array and that variable we assign will store each individual element of the array or of the string. So here's an example. We have an array called subreddits, just some strings of different Reddit subreddits. Using a regular old for loop, I would have to make a variable i, while i is less than subreddits dot length i plus plus, and then let's just console dot log each individual element. So that would be subreddits of i. So we're only using i here to access each element. It's kind of a lot of work. It's not very attractive or clean to look at, especially if we're only if we only care about soccer, pop heads, cringe, and books. We don't care about the numbers. We don't care about the indices. We just need them in order to access those elements. So another alternative is the for of. And that looks like this. For let, and then we decide on a variable name, and the, this variable is going to represent each element. So the name, it doesn't matter, again, just like i. You could use i, but that's generally not a good idea. Most people, when they see i, are going to imagine or assume that it's an, a number, an index. So I would go with something like sub or subreddit or element, el. I'll go with sub of subreddits. Console.log sub. So we don't have to access the array using square brackets and a number. Sub is going to automatically have each element it's stored in it each time through the loop. If I run my code over here, we loop twice. The first time using a for loop, the second time using a for of loop. Hopefully you can see this is a dramatic improvement. It's a lot easier to read. It kind of approximates English instead of this where we're generating these random, or not random, but these ugly indices and we're not using them in any way. So I much prefer for of, which is why it was added in. Not because I prefer it, but because it's such a common scenario where you need to iterate over elements in an array or a string and you don't need those numbers. So why bother? So this was added in. It was proposed and added in to the spec. And for of will work on anything that is iterable in JavaScript. Another example of an iterable is a string. So we could do a for let character or char car of and then some string, how about hello everyone? Actually, you know, that's let's do let's do cockadoodle do. I don't know if that's how you spell that noise, that sound. And then let's just console.log character. And let's do car char dot to uppercase. So each time we're going to uppercase that character. And there we go. Cockadoodle do. So we can iterate over each character in a string, each element in an array. We don't need an indices or an index. We don't need a number. We don't have to do any of this logic. All we do is say for each thing in subreddit. So let sub of subreddits, let item, let element, let character, let letter. It's up to you. It's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to work with.